What's going on gamers? It's Dream Killers representing Madden Mastermind. Hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful Friday. I'm out here using them Cleveland Browns, running the blueprint defense and West Coast on offense, specifically under center, single back spread. And Johnny Football, I got him subbed in. He's trying to throw touchdowns. Look at him. The pothead himself, man. He took time off of getting high so he can come out here and get some touchdowns for himself, Mr. Gordon. So we appreciate that. And, like, man, with Manziel, you know, he, I don't know, you guys will see a couple times here. He just, he's not as accurate as Romo and a couple of the other quarterbacks I've been using. So, I guess, you know, it's one of those things you're just going to have to lab with your quarterback a choice to figure out, you know, how to make some throws. Because I definitely had some receivers open and it's like, man, where the heck are you throwing to? My opponent here is using the uh, Chicago Bears. It actually does a really good job of keeping me guessing until really like the fourth quarter. Look at that user pick, although I was offside. So, it's negated here momentarily. And, you know, he, he has a pretty good scheme. You know, he was mixing stuff up with, between the counter and the trap. And then he runs like this wide receiver option, which I've never seen. I think I've seen like once, but I don't think the dude handed off to the receiver. So that was kind of new to me. And then for some reason, he throws that garbage, gets on fourth down. But then look at that, man. I can't get that. Here it goes. Look at that wide receiver screen, man. I was all over the QB. Didn't even see it coming. So good for him. He was able to put up the points there. And we're back on offense trying to make things happen. Look at us getting sacked on the first go around. And Manziel just can't throw to left. Maybe that's it. I was trying to hit my man Miles Austin, former Cowboy over there. And even on the slant, he can't throw it. So I actually punted, gave him the ball back here. You know, 7-7 tie game. Dude was just dotting me up for a while because he had me guessing between this counter and the trap. Look at that, man. Dude's wide open. And I swear to God, man, like the Browns just wouldn't. Oh, my God. That was such bad user control. But the Browns just weren't hitting for me. You know, they, I think they got a couple big hitters like Whitner at safety and stuff. But you'll see they missed some tackles. But look at that. Can we get it? Yes, we can. And then we were returning for six. Look how speedy this guy is, man. He's like five foot tall. 74 looks like a monster over him. But nonetheless, we'll take it, man, because he was driving downfield, you know, less than two minutes to go. That's always a blessing. And then he hits me on the screen. I think that's the only time he went to the screen. I mean, he had a couple plays where it, like, it seemed like it would have worked uh, long term, but he went to it once and then it would just scrap it. He was big on four verts with a drag and, you know, those special little post routes that aren't bumpable. And, you know, with the, the Chicago Bears receivers, they actually were benefiting him very much so. He's a play action specialist, pretty much play action on every rip. And that makes blitzing it a little bit harder. Um, I heard Chappie saying that the the, the excuse me the pass blocking on play action isn't as good. I still feel that it mitigates some of like the B gaps and A gaps just because like the linemen just block differently. But maybe I gotta lab it a little bit more. But according you know from what I've seen, look at Marshall man, whoever that was. Then he hits me on the trap for the touchdown. So or no, I tried run commit and then he hits me on the touchdown. But then he goes for two points. Tries to do the same thing, and good thing that cover two locked him up. So I just ran one last play just to take it to halftime because, excuse me, he was getting the ball. So I definitely want to give him extra any points. Got the user pick. Can I get it? Yes, I can. And then I'm trying to return things, but, you know, I wasn't able to. So back on offense. Little Tate, man. He was rough. He was tough. I should have gave him the ball more as I was watching it. Look at Gordon, man. Like, man, I'm going to take a minute, not get high. I'm going to try to catch these passes for you. And I tried to throw it up in the end zone. That was kind of ridiculously dumb. But then we just hit him on a little curl underneath. He was running a lot of zone. Look at Tate doing his thing, man. And then back on defense, again, more counters. And Forte and company with Chicago, he was doing well. There's a little screen. For anybody liking the beats in the background, oh, my God, there's that wide receiver screen again. Look at that. Three, what was that? Three, four, five, six guys missed. Anyways, my man Crisis is on the boards with the heat again. Uh, Jamla representer. We got a few jams coming out this time. The opening one was No Nonsense, <coughs> or Nonsense by Gene Gray. It was a crisis beat. Then we got Watch Me by Little Brother was on there. Who's That is the one playing, and then sh The Shining. So for anybody that likes good hip-hop instrumentals, check Jamla out. Check out Crisis. They got all kinds of stuff available if you guys want to support good hip-hop. And then Like an Idiot. Oh, man. I thought I was throwing it away, but I, I just threw it up there after the big stop, which could have been the game right there. Tries to hit me with the counter. We're finally starting to adjust. It took me a while. I mean, it's like the end of the third, and I'm st I was still having issues. So and I'm hitting corner out. So he mixed it up well. I mean, I can't discredit the man 
he uh he had a pretty good record i can't remember exactly but i know he was in like getting down I'm, I'm trying to you know make it to the top 100 or whatever for whatever it's worth i think he was ranked around somewhere like 500 ish and you know pretty soon i think as we get in those skill points that are you know within a 25 or 50 or whatever it tries to get us by you know we should be able to get you know those tougher opponents so for any of the guys complaining about that just stay tuned you know, we'll definitely be playing the best players here as soon as we get in that top 100. I haven't had an immense amount of time to play a lot of games. Look at Tate, man. It's bouncing off of people. But very, very soon, I will be up there. And like I said, the competition level should hopefully rise, um, you know, tenfold. And we should be able to see all kinds of different things going on. But we're going to keep throwing. Look at that, man. That should have been a pick. I think this one should have been a pick. Look at that, man. Oh, my goodness. And on third and ten... Same thing. Look at him just throwing air balls up. Should have been a pick. And then on fourth down, we finally get him with, I think that was actually a block shot on that one. So good for us. And then we're finally able, you guys can see, he went for two two-point conversions. So now he's down nine. Gets the ridiculous fumble. It should have just been an incomplete pass in my opinion. I don't think he had both feet or whatever that role is with that. But like I said, I think at this point, I pretty much had him caged. Sending a little B-gapper at him. And then we get the block shed. Look at that, man. Safety. We'll take it. So 30 to 19, two minutes left. This game's in the bag. Manziel with a bad pass, but we'll deal with it. If for anybody not using the streaks with the running back out of the backfield, real good, real good versus zone. Uh, you know, they, they pretty much jog up to the line of scrimmage or whatever, and then after that, they'll turn up field. Whew, look at that footwork on the sideline. And, you know, so use those, especially with the guys running a lot of zone mix them in they work pretty well i tried hitting him with taste of his own medicine because i invented the hitch but anyway you know he had to quit after that guys it's mad mastermind dream killers we'll hit you guys again tomorrow with a video probably a tip but we'll see you have a good weekend thanks for watching